Okay boys, welcome to XCOM Long War, I guess. Didn't play for a long, long time. This is gonna be probably devastating. Iron Man at the beginning. I'll keep the DLCs, I think. You can always skip the missions if you don't want to do them. And our second wave, as always. Um, Red Fog, yes. No strict screening, I don't like this. Red Fog. Bronze Man, Commander's Choice. Bronze Man is essential. With all of the bugs that the game has, I, I need this to be able to restart a mission if it fucks up because of bugs. Commander's Choice, great. Friendly Skies, because fuck the air game. Perfect information, because I like to see the percents and get annoyed by the enemies hitting me with like a 5% and absolutely critical. And that's it. I never tested aiming angles, but I read that it's not that great, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get it. Um, okay, classic, yes, start. Okie dokie, uh, America, USA, USA, USA. I always take this one. I like America for the air game uh, bonus, for air superiority. And I like the fact that you can build a neck, a satellite uplink in the first month, get two satellites, and have a full continent coverage at the start of second, the second month. Russia is great with the Roscosmos, but you cannot get coverage over the whole, the whole European continent um, because it's four countries, not three. So you would need to build two satellite uplinks. So I prefer the United States. You're good, hacks. That's good, man. I'm good. I'm I'm hoping I'm going to be good after XCOM today. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a I could use the console to kill all aliens on the first mission. Yeah, but like, you know, I like doing missions. It's just I I like doing missions. The the only problem is that I don't want to do the first mission over and over. I guess that would be a, a thing, but I kind of would feel like I'm cheating. Even though I, I would be doing it only to get the, you know, because then I, I think if you do it like that, you get all of the corpses regularly, so you don't kill them with explosives. So that would be a better start than usually, because you would have more corpses to sell. So that, like, you know what I mean, right? And I would miss six promotions, right? So, like, both of the things would be... On one side, it would be kind of too better than it should be, because I would get a lot of corpses, I think. Um, which means I would be able to trade more corpses than usually. Usually you kill most of them with explosives so you don't get corpses. But on the other hand, I would not get the XP and I need the XP and that would annoy me. So, uh, I'll just do it like this. Like, I, I will just get annoyed and and whatever, but I will do it like that. Okay. Okay, that, this is a bad setup. One pod is somewhere here and one pod is somewhere here. That's bad. Heading to that location. Wow, this one has no HP. What do you have? So, what are your stars that you have no HP? Wow, terrible stars. Roger, tracking. Yeah, so like, like like you said, I could do that with I could use the console to do that, I guess. But I would miss out on the promotion. I would get the corpses, but I would miss out on experience. So that's bad, and that's bad, and everything's bad. Wait, I need to close the window in my other room. Wait a sec, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to close the window. The other room and do some some other stuff for a moment. Uh, okay, uh, where were the um the pods? One was here, I think. One was here, right? Oh, both of them are on this side now. Huh? Okay. That's a oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for in terms of meld, huh? If I move here, I may activate the second pod. Which would not be cool, actually. Ah, fuck it. Wow, I actually don't see the second dude to flank him. That kinda sucks. 
I can move up here. Seriously? I still don't see the dude behind you. that big of a chance to hit, to be completely honest. Hunker with you. I don't know what I want to move you. Here might be? Moving out. You with no HP, I guess, can go here behind full cover. Hopefully you will not die like a bitch. You steady, I guess. Oh god, you're gonna suppress me. Come on, Overwatch. Good. Not good. like to move a bit forward but at the same time Boy. it's a bit risky it's worth taking a shot I guess yeah that's not gonna hit How can he see him, but you don't? The line of sight has to be ending right this um, here. Running. No, taking a shot. Okay, this is a bit weird. All of the pods are basically... Oh, come up! Grenade! Go suck a dick. That's gonna activate the, the pod. Yeah. But... If they... Yeah, they set up themselves a bit in a weird spot, so I guess I can do something with that. At least I can kill this one. Oh, you're flanked, right? Yeah. But I can move here. I think that's gonna flank this guy, yeah. Uh, the problem is I don't have full cover anywhere here. I only have half cover, and that's not good. good. No 
longer a threat. Well, you can get full ca uh, half cover here. That's probably not even gonna do damage to him. Yeah, like overall maps that have almost only half cover and almost no full cover are kinda crappy. Because aliens don't really care about cover that much, you care about cover, right? It reminds you of the Zang mission. It, it kinda has that same feel, doesn't it? Although the Zang mission has more full cover. At least it has enough full cover for your whole team. This one doesn't. This one's like, oh, you got, you know, two sarcophagus and, and like, um, statues here and, and maybe, like, two small buildings here and that's it. Rest is not full cover, right? So it's, it's kind of way worse because of that. Like, that's gonna be such a low chance to hit. I don't know if it's even worth trying to hit. The thing is, what else can I do? Hey, Nothing. Here. Like, if, if you're gonna even take, like, two damage, that's gonna be good. Going out. Even two damage is gonna be good. No damage, of course. What well, well one damage and damage reduction turned on. Of course it did. Okay, another pod. This is bad because I need to take make distance from the drone because it can flank me, but I cannot because there's no good cover anywhere and I got the only I am heading for the only good one. Twenty-five? Failed, good. Please, drone, don't flank me. I, I'm hoping this is not gonna flank my dude, because if it's gonna flank my dude, I'm gonna be annoyed. Okay, it's running away. Wow, you you hit a 24. Bravo. Bravo to that lady. You get cookies at home. Holy fuck. Bravo to you, lady. Bravo. Um, okay, grenades would be nice here. Grenades would be very nice here. There's no overwatch. They just activated. I can't even get the meld. Uh, grenades are gonna be extremely nice here. Yes, yeah, kill both of them. Don't, d just don't do shit like two damage to both of them. Thank you. You had this one map once and you knew there has to be at least one pod left. And you got pings from the little building, uh, so you set up your dudes as safe as possible. You mean this building? And what? It did. It did it go well? You opened the door and there was a pod of with three heavy floaters and two mutant elites. Yeah, that. You know what's my um, option for things like that? That's why I always take a rocketeer. And whenever I have a situation like that, I will. Set my like if I had a situation like that and I knew that there's a pod inside but I didn't know what it is, I would set up my dudes here with overwatches, get my rocketeer somewhere here, and blow the fuck up of like blow the building in in you know with the aliens inside. Whatever would come out would get hit by overwatches and, and assaults and, and shit waiting to, to finish them off. I would basically grenade or rocket the, the shit out of it. That's, that's why I always take rocketeers with uh, additional rockets and I always try to have like multiple of them uh, because I, I know shit like that can be terrible. Yeah, I can imagine it didn't go well. I can imagine, man. Like I said, that's why I always take... Oh, you don't have rockets. Uh, you don't have grenades left. Shit. That's why I always take uh, additional rocketeers and additional rockets. You are out of normal. Yeah, like I said, that's why I always take um, Shock and Awe on Rocketeers, and additionally I take um, the additional rocket. So I, al I always have Rocketeers with like three rockets and two shredders, which makes them completely unmo like unmobile. They cannot move, but they can 
uh, rocket everything, right? That, that's why that's why I like rocketeers. That's why uh, how I usually uh, use rocketeers. And I always try to save up one rocket. It doesn't always work, but sometimes it, it helps and saves lives. Okay, talking about saving lives though, how do I fucking move from here so I don't get shit on? Moving out. Alien object in sight. Hmm. Uh you picked a lower level rocket rocketeer. Yeah, that can be a pain. I know I know the feeling man, like I, I had situations like that also when I didn't have rocketeers left or I didn't have rockets left or you know. I didn't pick a rocketeer, for example, and I just needed them, right? I, I know the feeling. And you're basically... In a situation like that, you're basically fucked, like... You're like, man, what do I fucking do? I know the feeling. It sucks, but... It's XCOM, right? There's two of them left only, so... I think I will steady with you. Roger, I will overwatch with you. I will move you forward. Because you get grenades. Roger. I've got my eyes on. And you, little fucker. Uh, here? You, he's got no HP, like no HP as you can see. So. Don't hit a 30, please. Of course you're gonna hit a 30. Fuck you. Why is it? Like, I, I know it's like, you know, um, gambler's fallacy and, and being biased and shit like that. Oh, I, I know all of that about RNG, but why is it that when aliens have like a 20 or 30% chance to hit, they will hit half of their shots. But when I have a 50% chance to hit, I will hit 1 out of 5, 1 out of 6. Like, just the last mission, I had a Overwatch, um, I had a full team of Overwatching dudes shoot at a sectoid all of them had 46 to 48 percent chance to hit, and none of them hit. Right, so that's four or five or six Overwatch shots at uh, basically 50/50 chance missing in a row. But for aliens, they can have like a 20 or 30, and they will hit half of the time with those. Sometimes in a row. It may be that I'm biased, but I I strongly believe that the, there is something wrong with the RNG in this game. I don't know what exactly, but there is something fucked up with the RNG in this game. It, it's not possible that so many things happen to so many people so often, and it's, it's like, you know, complete randomness. Like, it's not possible that that's complete randomness. There has to be something up with that. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be something fucked up with that. Because if, if it was just me, then, you know, it would be, okay, I'm, I'm biased, right? I'm, you know, I just remember the bad shit, shit that happens, I don't remember the good thing. But... Damn it, missed the target. When... Everyone, at least most of the people that I, like, read online and shit on forums, have the same problems, then I think it's something with your game. Not with the players that play the game. Oh look, a 35% a shot missed! How about that, huh? 54! Finally! But of course it didn't kill him, because why would it? Yep. 
Yeah, I I had like an, a 99% double tap a sniper missed twice in a row. You call that Dota? Like. Yeah, you, you told me a few times that Dota has some ridiculous RNG in it, didn't you? I remember. I think I remember that. I need to hide this guy because he can die. Or she. And he, she, whatever. Aye, aye, Commander. Full cover and let's hunker. A second 30% sh shot hitting. Second. In a row from that alien. Not first. No, second. The same fucking sectoid hit two 30% shots in a row now. Finally, I hit something that was below 50, but for fuck's sake. You're really starting to piss me off, game. Bien, commandant. Flashbang the motherfucker. Maybe you're gonna hit now with the minus 50 or however it is. Aim. Will you? Son of a bitch. I'm on the move. Batter up. Good work out there, strike. Let's see if I got a good steam vent um, localization. Let, let's just see. I only got three sectoid corpses because I had to use so many explosives. That's actually bad, but we did get some meld. Okay, that's acceptable. This is acceptable. It's good that they are in the same row. It's ve actually very good that they are in the same row. It's kind of bad that the second one is on level uh, 4. You, it's better to get it on level 2, but this is good, this is very good, I can just, and this is excavated here, so this is even better, because this is excavated, I can just build two access lifts, and excavate this, and get a steam vent in month 2, so this is at the end of month 2, so this is gonna be good. Plus, this is excavated, so that means that I can uh, basically get a row of uh, generators here, or something like that, so yeah, that is, this, this is good, this is good, this is very good. Okay, let's save and exit. Let's. I will make a backup save of this. This. Okay. So first things first. We need to build two satellites. Satellite build and satellite build. And now I will need to get cash. I will need to get satellite uplinks. I need 100 more space bucks. So I need one more mission basically. I need one more mission. Uh. I need one more sectoid corpse, actually, and I, I, I actually will not do alien weaponry. I will wait for the xenobiology because I want to start giving out uh, corpses to them to for scientists. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mission control. Oh, uh, hangar. Rename. Chainsaw, okay. Tarzan, monk, okay. Werewolf, okay. Uh, Ogre, Jensen, no. Wildcat, okay, but let's change this one to Stingrays. I, I want one with Stingrays. Okay. 
battles is XCOM enemy within hard for new players. Um, if you play on on the the lower difficulties, it's not. I'm playing with the mod Long War, which basically makes the game ex extremely harder than it is originally. Plus, it adds a lot of features and makes the campaign much much longer. If you're a new if you're new to XCOM, if you play on the lower difficulties, I think it's not that hard because you your Commander, soldiers have a lot of uh, HP Commander, and and basically a lot of stats and aliens are kind of weak. So on low difficulty, definitely enemy within isn't isn't that bad. Um, especially if you play like tactical games ever. So this is long war. That's why I'm um just you know. That's why I was restarting the first mission over and over to get a good base setup because in long war, long war is a mod that you can install on enemy within that makes the game basically. It's almost as a free expansion, like a free expansion. Commander, it adds a lot of new weapons, a lot of new Commander, tiers of weaponry, a lot of new equipment. Um, it makes the campaign much longer and then makes the game much harder. Um, gives uh, aliens special abilities, skills. It also rebalances your soldiers and gives you more classes and more skills for your soldiers. So it makes the game more much more difficult but also much more fun and complex and, and fun to play so that's why I basically wanted to have a good start with the steam vents uh, for the base setup because it's re the regular campaign for XCOM enemy within is like what 40 hours 50 hours a full campaign of long war is like 500 hours right so it's much longer but if, like I said, in terms of original uh, uh, enemy within, if you ever play tactical games and you play on the lower difficulty, it's gonna be easy for you. Okay, let's scan. Let's see if we're we're gonna get some missions. I need to get a mission before the twenty, uh, before the eleventh or something like that. Um, it's a small. Let's send chainsaw with balance set up. Come on, shoot it down. We have eyes on the bandit. You're welcome. This part of the game is the one that I don't like that much because it's complete RNG and you don't and I'm actually losing the RNG right now. So you don't decide anything. You send out your interceptors to intercept alien ships and um, you can shoot them down and get missions and, and raid their ships and shit like that. The problem is that you don't decide anything. Like it's every shot is a RNG roll that you have to win in order to hit. And it already took one of the like you can have maximum of six ships, six interceptors over one continent. And the repair time is quite long. Like this guy is is gonna be repaired in twelve days of in-game time, which takes a long time. And you can only have six ships at a time. So like I already have the max. I already have only two ships available from six, even though I started with four. This one is gonna be in twelve days, and the twelve days is actually decreased because I'm using an additional mod that makes um, the repair time faster. Originally in Long War, the repair time after a fight like that for this ship would be like 30 days or something like that, so... Th this is even even worse, basically. I didn't also, I didn't check... Um, the soldiers that we got. Commander to the situation I didn't check room. how many good Commander soldiers that we got. Room. Because I am, like, I, I'm not playing with strict screening, which means that soldiers can have a random stats at the start. So let's see. Um, scout, I guess. Any shooting class, good. Okay, this is gonna be a gunner, probably good. Uh, this is crappy. This is good, a shooting class. This is probably gonna be a gunner or something, or like a medic or engineer. Scout, scout, um, shooting class, whatever, whatever, scout. Whatever, shooting class, so gunner, infantry, um, overwatch medic build, sniper, whatever. 
this probably sniper assault I need a lot of assaults okay this is assault this is assault this is a sh shooting class uh, shooting class shooting Commander class to the situation room Commander to the situation shooting room. class crappy assault assault good assault very good a lot of assaults is good at least the way I play another assault that's good or a scout whatever shooting class uh, probably gunner with no mobility or or rocketeer uh, good good uh, we didn't get that many high mobility dudes we didn't get that many high mobility dudes with um, decent HP can you have Camille Timmermans uh, MP Roar? sure which one is it to the situation room. oh this one huh to the situation room. you want her uh, Camille and Piror. Well, be for now. If you want, we'll we'll rename her differently later. But maybe she's gonna die. We we don't know. Maybe she's gonna die in the first mission. So, okay, let's prepare the first mission. So we need a. Well, Camille is gonna be a scout actually, so let's. I guess let's take her. Uh, okay, uh, future assault. A decent aim. A very good aim actually. Plus a crappy aim. No, not a crappy aim. Plus. Uh, average aim. Average aim. Above average aim. Okay. Okay. Uh, you need to have a flashbang. You need to have a ceramic plating because you can die easily. Hello, Fief. Uh, Fief of Nature. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, like Emperor said, you basically, compared to vanilla game, compared to vanilla enemy within, um, the game is much bigger and you have much more choice in many ways. There's eight classes instead of four. Um, you have... Even mechs have more more choice, right? You have eight regular classes instead of uh, four regular classes, and you have eight classes of mechs uh, compared to the regular, like you know, uh, four classes of mechs. More items, more weapons. You can even see that the starter starter items. You can get a SMG. You can get a assault rifle, a assault assault carbine. Um, so there's more weapons available from the start. Variants of weapons um, they basically made so in vanilla XCOM you had only three weapon categories or weapon levels you had uh, ballistic weapons laser weapons and plasma weapons in long war they completely rebalanced that so and you start with ballistics then you have um, laser weapons then you have um, ghost weapons pulse weapons pulse lasers which are an upgraded version of, of laser weapons and then you go to plasma. So you have five weapon groups, uh, five weapon types, weapon levels basically, with more variety, more items. Like I said, more consumable items. You can carry two uh, items at the start, and you can get, go, go up to three consumable, well, consumable um, active items or whatever you want to call them. So basically, everything is bigger, and there's more things to do and more things to um, to use, which is fun. In in a tactical game, it's always fun to have more things, right? So that, that's basically the best part about Long War. 
you just have more stuff. Yeah. It's vanilla vanilla long war, don't get me wrong, like vanilla long war, vanilla XCOM is a great game and it, it's very fun, but it does have less diversity and less basically choice and less things you can you know um less ways of playing basically. Um uh, it is it's a kind of a repetitive game in, in many aspects. Um this gets much more complex and you can do much many Get More things, deploy. basically. Our AO is within the continental United States. It looks like yeah, and additionally, like Hackfell also. Area. In vanilla, you get to a point when uh, when you get basically um, Titan armor, when you get you know plasma weapons, you get to a point uh, in a sta to a stage where in in vanilla uh, enemy within or enemy unknown or whatever, you get to a point where aliens basically die. Just by seeing you. you, you walk in a room and aliens die because your characters are so powerful. Your soldiers almost never can die, and you basically become a god. In Long War, that never happens. In Long War, you can get to a point. Sometimes, in if you play very well, you can get, you know, your research going faster than the aliens research their stuff, and you can get more powerful than them. But you still can die very easily. A mission can still go badly. Even with the top gear, you, the aliens still are powerful enough to kill you because the aliens now also research their stuff and upgrade themselves. It's not like in vanilla where aliens start with certain stuff and they keep their equipment and their stats and their gear and their abilities on the same level. Aliens now also progress and also research things um, during the campaign and get more powerful, get more HP, get more stats get more abilities, better weapons and shit like that, so it's a completely different campaign.